And hello everybody, welcome back to the video. Today we are back inside of our survival world. And I got some stuff that I want to get done. I know, crazy, right? So, first and foremost, um, I do want to work on the furnace some more today, which I haven't even actually started the build yet. But, you know, uh, I want to start some work, work on the actual structure today. Start getting a feel out for what exactly I want to do that with that. And then, also I want to pull the jungle out further this way. Which I've gotten some of the area lit up. There's still, you know, a lot more to light up in some areas that I've just kind of missed. Which, you know, I need, I need to just kind of fly around the area um, during the nighttime with a bunch of torches and take a look. But right now I'm kind of out of torches. And then there's two other things I did I want to mention off camera. I did switch my food source to golden carrots. Now how I did that since we don't have a gold farm or anything like that is I went ahead and traded up a farmer to max level so that I can buy golden carrots from him and that works out because we do have a mason who I can like trade granite and stuff to so very simple you know easy to get convenient so that's that, that's nice for first thing and then the other other change I've made to kind of just my general lifestyle in game is I'm trying to move to keeping all my shulker boxes inside of an ender chest that I carry around on me instead of keeping them separately because this way it takes up one slot in my inventory instead of six so I can just carry around the ender chest on me instead of six shulker boxes and then I can access them all so yeah, I'm going to start dragging out the forest this way. I don't have any more jungle saplings, so I am going to have to cut down all of these smaller jungle trees to be able to actually, you know, do anything with this. And I'm not going to the leaves and stuff like that. Like here, just cut through here to make sure they're not connected and then dig down. Just stuff like that. So... Yeah, I'm going to get to work on farming these trees, and I'll catch y'all in a bit. Okay, guys, so a bit of work in, and here's what we got. I want to let the vines grow down before I do anything else, because especially over here, it looks totally different after the vines have grown. So I want to let the vines grow down from all those trees, and I think if I were to make this feel a bit more overgrown... I'm going to want to kind of add some vines to the smaller trees around the place, and I feel like that'll work out. I don't think I need to really add many more trees. I feel like it's probably fine where it's at. Just get the vines done. Now, that's the one nice thing about jungle trees is you don't need the forest to be as thick once the vines grow in because the vines very much so increase how generally dense the forest looks. Is, isn't there... Right. Did I not light up any of this? Well, no, that's generally lit, lit up fairly. I, I, I probably need to go down there and get some more light so that there's not as many mobs, but for the moment I'm just going to leave it where it's at. But yeah, I just went and grabbed some bones from the mob farm and harvested jungle trees for a bit not didn't take too much at all the only thing is I might like some taller trees mixed in there and maybe a bit more back there just because we're getting a bit more of an upper vantage angle from up here when we're walking by this way which makes this spruce forest in the back very obvious so I would like to get it a bit thicker but we'll see as I mentioned, I want to let the vines grow before I make any other decisions on that. So it might actually be a couple episodes before I get back to doing anything over there. And for the moment, like, yeah, it doesn't even change how the forest looks from here. It's the best part. But yeah, so I need to get to work on the furnace now. I did place a furnace over here, so I had a reference, right? I can go look at these furnaces. I got one right here. Okay, cool. So, to get started, I'm going to need gray concrete for the outside. I already have smooth stone set up, but it looks like I'm mostly 
Yeah. I'm going to need cobblestone and stone for these sides. I think that's how I'm going to do it with cobblestone for the slightly darker ones and stone for the bit lighter ones. Smooth stone for this kind of four, is that five blocks? One, two, three. Yeah, this five block tall part on the sides. Gray concrete for all the edges. We'll bring a gray concrete strip through there. Cobblestone and stone mixed in through all of here. Then black concrete, cobblestone and stone. So as for the cobblestone and stone, that's no problem. I already have plenty of both in this chest. And I also have enough smooth stone that we should probably be fine. But just in case, I might actually just do this. Yeah. And with the smooth, with the normal stone, worst case scenario, I just can grab some more from the mines. But yeah, so that'll run through real quick. We got plenty of coal in the system. Um, yeah. So that's. I, I, I'm gonna get some gray concrete and I'm gonna try and get the. Um, all the gray, gray concrete blocks placed since that shouldn't be too difficult to get through all of them just pretty quickly here and one on the same line just with a block gap of three so yeah i will be back shortly once i have the gray concrete you know as i'm standing here at world height i'm, I'm reminded i really have done a lot like with, with the pass of the portal now like, even, what's my render distance at? 32. So, for vanilla Minecraft without Optifine, the max render distance, I believe. So, with with, with that on, I'm, I'm looking around, and it, it pretty, stuff I've done pretty much takes up the entire field of view on 90 FOV. I mean, obviously, you got stuff over there that's, you know, not stuff I've done. But still, you know, it's pretty cool to look down and just see how much I've done. And I always forget about my shirt king farm. I always forget that exists. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Like, it's really convenient, and I really appreciate that I built that because I honestly use the sugar cane from it a lot, specifically for rockets, but, like, I always forget it exists. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But yeah, it's, it's pretty cool looking down. Once the furnace is done, it's gonna look even better. And yeah, we got. I, I always forget the stinking, um. Coarse fruit farm exists. I don't know, there's just a lot of things looking down. <laughs> so, like, you know, I, I, I've even hit a point that I forget some stuff I built. Like that bridge over there. I completely forgot about that. Just, just kind of cool to get an overhead view and look down. Anvil's not very obvious from up here. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to get back to work. Okay. So, finally starting to get the rim done. I'm not minding at all how this is coming out. Now, my only concern here is the gray might end up being a bit dark for what I want, and I am going to need the rest of the gray concrete powder that I made. But it should work out. Now, I'm also going to need some black concrete for the stuff around there, which makes me sad I turned all my <laughs> black dye into gray dye. But, yeah. We're going to... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab some smooth stone so that I can go ahead and get the um, layering all around for it. Because I should have enough smooth stone to pretty much get all the sides done. And like for the front here, we got two wide and one, two, three, four, five, six up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. It for sure goes over on the top, I believe, two rows. I'm going to have to take a look at that. And then it's just a matter of getting the arc, right? Yeah, top two rows go all the way over. And then for the arcing on it, we're looking at two blocks of blo black concrete so one two then like 
that. And that should be right. Let me just take another look. Uh, yep, that should be good. And then I'm gonna want another gray concrete line over that, but let's just step back and look. Oh yeah, that's definitely gonna work. But I'm gonna need to go ahead and get the gr another line of gray concrete here done, put some more smooth stone on the side and stuff like that, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and also get black concrete for this. So I'm gonna get to working on that now. Okay, I'm liking how this is starting to come along. I went ahead and got the smooth stone on all the sides and I found some black concrete in one of the chests, so I don't have to make any at least yet. Now, the cobblestone and stone mix is gonna be a little weird because I have two options here. One's to kind of mix it together myself and see how it works out. They clearly do it where like it would be a patch of kind of random cobblestone within stone outlying it. So I could just do it myself and go with it and see what I come up with. But I also could just go ahead and make it a one for one copy, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing just because it feels a bit more right that way to just you know get it accurate and then also this is going to come up three just plain like that and then one more one in should be right yep and it should be yeah it's gonna be like cobblestone and stone around it So yeah, definitely coming along. I'm going to start patching together the cobblestone and stone. I'm going to try and at least get the walls done. I don't know if we'll do the top or not, but I'm at least going to get the front, the two sides, and possibly the back done. And if I'm feeling up for it, I'll do the top too. We'll, we'll just see how much I'm willing to do right now. But yeah. Okay, just really quick wanted to bring you guys in to show you kind of the finished front. I don't know... I don't know how I like how the cobblestone and stone parts turned out, but besides that, it turned out pretty well. I just feel like, I don't know, it might even make sense to just make the front stone parts all smooth stone just to make it look a little better, but I don't know. For the moment, I'm going to leave it where, where it's at. If I decide later that I want to do some sort of tweak with it, I will. The problem is, like, pretty much everything around here, like isn't quite right for the stone like it I don't know but yeah that, that's that's where it's at currently I'm gonna go ahead and get these sides done and we'll, we'll see from there honestly looking at this I think it might almost be better oh, it might almost be better to just go smooth stone and scrap the whole stone and cobblestone stuff and go smooth stone across it might look a little weird to do that but the cobblestone and stone for sure isn't working like I'm not going to put that on these two sides too because it just doesn't look good so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try and make the rest of this wall smooth stone and we'll look at it from there because I honestly think that'll look better. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. I don't totally like this either. Like, it definitely feels like it's just kind of a bland wall. But I like it better. <laughs> I don't know. I hated how the cobblestone and stone mix worked. And I feel like as long as you have the front in view, it actually looks pretty nice like that. It's just a matter of if you're just looking at the side of the wall. Which the good news about that is because of the position of the crafting table, we're pretty much never going to be looking at this with the front in view unless we're over at the anvil. Which the other thing about that is I might in the future decide to put another block next to all this, in which case it won't even matter that that's there. So I do think I'm going to go with the full smooth stone look in the end. But for the moment, guys... I think that's all I got in me for building this stuff for the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off and we'll finish up the furnace next episode and probably get started on the next episode. 
And yeah. Also, just real quick, I want to say thank you guys. Um, like I've, I've gotten back into posting daily now, and the videos have been doing pretty well. Like especially compared to how my content was doing before, I kind of went on hiatus for a bit. So like, thank you guys for that. I'm glad the you know channel's starting to look up a little bit. We'll see, you know, if we can keep that up. But I just wanted to say thank you guys for, you know, as far as we have gotten. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. God bless. Bye-bye.